I see a turkey. All right, what time is it? It's about 3.40 in the morning. <laughs> Gonna try this turkey hunting thing again. So today, I have a blind. I got the cheapest pop-up blind on Amazon. Two person, cost $63. Put it up in my backyard and it, it seems like it's gonna work. Um, I have it inside of my backpacking backpack along with a chair, lunch, two liters of water, uh, an extra high capacity battery for my cell phone, and um, we're gonna just go straight across the river Hopefully we're the first ones there because it's like you have to stake your claim to a spot. I just don't want to leave at 3.40 in the morning. Oops. Get there and have someone uh, turn their, their headlight on right as we're trying to set up our blind. And say, hey, I'm here first. So we're trying to get there early. I should probably get there Hopefully I don't get a speeding ticket. This new truck, it's just so easy to go flying down the highway. Uh, I should get there around 4.40. <clears throat> Maybe 4.50. I was shooting for 4.30. But I couldn't find my suspenders. My pack is, I weighed it, it's about 40 pounds. Kind of like what I was packing in to go elk hunting last year. I'm gonna do the hip waiter thing even though the water's only shin deep. Don't really need full on hip waders, but we got our tick spray. That's that's one big difference. I think we had ten to thirteen different ticks per person crawling on us last time. It's like tick hatching season or something like that. For some reason last year we didn't we didn't have nearly as many ticks. And well now we know better. It's tick season. Here's my bow. We are the only people in the parking lot. Wednesday, I know it's probably four o'clock. Is it four o'clock in the morning? Yeah, about 4.30. About 4.30 in the morning. Hip waders on, boots are on my neck, bino harness behind me. Wish I had a better camera, I could brighten things up. But uh, we are at the, the river. And we're getting ready to cross here. Oops, it's, a, it's actually a lot brighter than it looks on camera. We can just start to see the, uh, the horizon get light. And the only reason we're here this early is to get the spot. Kind of claim our territory. a lot of foot traffic from this past weekend. So yeah, the uh, slippers, socks, and long underwear are still on the side of the bank. That's just very strange, strange to me. It is uh, 6.30 a.m. We've been in the blind, oh, since just before six. And we had a, a hen fly through gives a flyby, but uh, nothing, nothing coming in yet. This uh, $63 um, blind is actually uh, pretty cool. Decoys are about 18 yards out in front of us. I'm in someone's tree stand. So right over there is uh, is my blind. 
So there's these rules in Colorado if you're going to put a tree stand up on public land. You can put it up 30 days before the season starts. I think it has to be down 10 to 15 days after the season ends. There's one other part. Once you put it up, you're supposed to put your CID number and the dates that you plan to leave it up. Well, the last part is anybody can use it once you put it up. And it is a first come, first serve type thing. So my blind that's over there, I can stake that to the ground and leave it all season. But if I were to do that, I would have to have my CID number and the dates on the outside of it and anybody can use it. If, if this guy showed up, I would gladly get out of his tree stand for him. Didn't plan on coming up in this, but I was just bored. Been calling all morning, heard some, heard one gobble, possibly a few other clucks. Oh, I see a turkey. Right there. That's, um, that's private land. Now how do I call that turkey over here? Okay, there's three of them. All I can tell is they have red heads. They're getting closer. see his beard. There's another one behind the tree there. There's the other one. Other birds are checking them out. So I just heard my, my buddy, he's starting to purr. I'm trying to get him to come over. There they go. They both just gobbled at the decoys. These are our younger jakes. They don't have very large beards. And he got one. He 
He's getting, he's getting out for a second shot. He got out for a second shot. I think he says he's, he's got one down. There's, there's only one left. Well, he's not exactly the biggest bird uh, or the biggest beard, uh, but this is public land hunting. These are slags. I can't really tell where the shot was. I shot from, this was the entrance. Looks like it was a little bit behind him. He didn't go very far. He uh, went 15 yards and was dead. So it is heating up, so we are gonna tear down and get get these on ice as fast as possible. These are the decoys that they came into. They never fully committed. They gobbled, both of them gobbled right over here. Um, the tree stand I was in was right over there. $63 blind and the cheapest decoys you can get worked. And our amateur calling actually worked too. We got the blind taken down. Got it all packed up in my REI backpack. Decoys are all put away. This guy takes his time. We need to get these birds on ice because it's supposed to be 70 degrees today. Well, that was my first turkey ever. And I got it with a bow. Never in a million years thought I would get one. So I don't even have a uh, cooler with me. This guy's interrupting my filming. But so what I got, I got the air conditioning on high and I've got a, a bottle of ice, frozen ice bottle, uh, tucked under its wing. I'm pretty sure I'll be, uh, be fine to get it home, get it dressed out, and the meat is gonna, I don't know, I don't, I had wild turkey when I was a kid. I'm not sure how wild turkey tastes. So a lot of people always ask. Did you eat the meat or are you just out there killing like a savage? Uh, these are the breasts. I actually filmed the whole process right here on the workbench, but I've lost that video. And uh, well, these are the breasts of this young man, this little turkey. Um, the legs we've already eaten. And I do have to say that uh, wild turkey is definitely not going to taste like Thanksgiving dinner. I'm saving these two here. I've got to do some research on some better wild turkey recipes uh, before we cook these ones up. It's getting close to the next turkey season. This all took place in 2019. Uh, we're hopeful that we have a spot located. It's going to be an overnight camping trip into the Rocky Mountains. It will be for the Merriam turkey and not the Rio Grande turkey. We will have this same spot as a backup plan if we get completely skunked uh, chasing them in the mountains. The key to this hunt was how close we were to that private land congregate around that private land, that mowed field. You saw them kind of going back and forth, pecking around. Uh, somehow we were able to call them. Um, I was just doing those clucks with a mouth call like you heard in the video. Oh, that friend of mine, he had the, the circular slate and the stick and you'd make the shape of a J and the only noise he knew how to make was a purr. So I was doing the clucking and he was doing the purring. Um, they, all three of them came in and I was like, there's no way this is happening. <laughs> so they came in and he kept purring because I was in a tree right above him. And as soon as they came in front, I drew and shot and I got a turkey. I uh, still can't believe it. It was pretty awesome. We were very excited because we had had zero luck for the previous year and the previous part of the season. The other key component to hunting on public land for these Rio Grande turkeys was we came back during the middle of the week. Um, our first trip out, I believe it was opening day, so it was probably a Saturday, and there was 11 trucks in the parking lot. We came back on a Wednesday, we only got there maybe 30 minutes earlier, and there were no trucks in the parking lot, and we didn't hear or see anybody else the rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed my turkey hunt. Um, I've got more coming. I've got, I don't know, maybe a half dozen to a dozen more videos of various topics from building my western hunting truck to our hog hunt uh, getting ready for this uh, this coming season's turkey hunt i got a, a new camera too i'm really excited about this new camera that i got 
I'll be showing that off in some future videos. Uh, specifically got it for recording wildlife. Please give the video a like, share it with your friends at Turkey Hunt. Goodbye.